Message received. Message received. Begin playback. Hey, Eli. Uh, wow. Are you getting any sleep at all? I don't have the server space for all these messages, man. The images alone are getting me complaints from the Sanctum DCs. You know how they can be. So maybe just, you know, prioritize a little bit. Uh, listen, I do have some thoughts on the mural, and to be honest, they're a little less uh, <laughs> extensive, uh, shall we say, than some of yours. Now, I agree with your assessment about the couple in the foreground. We've got a man and a woman kneeling and facing each other. I can't think of that as anything other than a visual expression of marriage or some sort of union. We agree on that. Where I think you might be reaching a bit too far is with the scepter and the crown. For once, I think I'm the one who's taking a more, uh, I hesitate to say, common sense approach here. And you're the one who, uh, I think you may be stretching a bit. Look, it's a sign of royalty. Simple as that. This is the king holding a scepter and a queen wearing a crown. Some of your theories are very creative, but I'm honestly surprised that not one of them have to do with what is obviously a visual representation of royalty. I, I know that the crown is veiled. I get it. I've never seen something like that before either. But that's probably just part of the wedding outfit, right? I mean, something, something, bridal apparel, cultural differences, chalk it up to that. I know you mentioned something about the pyramid thing at the top of the man's scepter. I actually can't clearly see what you're talking about. It's a little too dark in the images and the video. Then there's the figure standing behind them. He's a big guy. Can't see his face, but I do see his arms. I see what you were saying about over-exaggerated proportions for a human being. If you ask me, I think that's their child. It's bigger than the two royal parents because it's supposed to symbolize the royal lineage and how it's meant to grow greater than its originating point. In this case, the king and the queen. I think that's what's going on. And honestly, I think you're probably reading a bit too far into the Icarath text themselves. I don't think this mural is directly linked probably based on some more local story that could be related to the Icarath, not the Icarath exactly. The two figures don't look anything like Ikor or Alinea as we've seen them described, and I... Oh. Uh, you know, I think I've gotta go. Anyway, long story short, loving your enthusiasm, my friend, and keep the pictures coming. Maybe prioritize just a little bit, but I'm not convinced this mural is as controversial as you seem to think it is. But, yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm nothing if not open-minded. If you can get a better set of pictures with better lighting, that would be terrific. All right, see ya. End of message. Message received. Begin playback. Eli, you... I got your newest pictures. I see you took my note about better lighting to heart. These were obviously taken in broad daylight. I... Did you actually remove the pieces of the mural and, and take them with you? Eli, just be careful. This whole thing with the Icarath, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want you to get in trouble. End of message. Message received. Begin playback. <sighs> hey, okay. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear it was a group effort. Thanks for clarifying. And, uh, yeah, sorry, I assumed what I assumed. That's, uh, yeah, th that's great news. I'm glad you were able to convince them to excavate the area. That was fast work. I wish I could have helped out. Seriously. Anyway, uh, sorry, again. I, I didn't mean to accuse you. I just, <laughs> you're very excited about all this. You know, and I think that's great. I just hope... I hope you find what you're looking for. You've got some cool stuff going on, buddy. Okay. Talk to you later. End of message. Correspondence concluded. <laughs>